it's not going to be down here in changes in current liabilities it's going to be up top in this case and we just put it up top because this is kind of something that is on the income statement and we recognize the expense but of course there's no cash related to it so uh, you know the the cash either got paid when we purchased it or or whenever the financing terms are so we're just going to put it up here i'm going to put depreciation and we're going to say that that's going to be a negative of this 15750 and there we have that and it's going to bring net income back up now if we think about that why would that happen well because when we uh, expensed it it brought net income down so this number includes net income bringing it down however uh, this depreciation expense has no nothing to do with cash therefore it needs to be backed out it needs to we need to increase the net income by the depreciation expense so we're going to go ahead and highlight that we found a home for the depreciation expense now we do want to verify that too on the income statement so i might want to highlight that here and say you know it's possible i want to check the income statement and make sure that the depreciation expense equals 15750 is there a time when it wouldn't equal 16750 yes there is what if we what if we sold equipment or had disposals of equipment so that we just we want to double check that number and see if any other things happen but we want to do that at a later time because we don't want to start you know messing all these numbers up and without uh, first being in balance all right so now let's go to the payable we got the payable account here uh, we think about the change in the payable account if we think about what the other account is related to the payable well oftentimes we would debit an expense and credit the payable uh or or debit inventory and credit the payable but then cost of goods sold is related to that <laughs> so that means that those are income statement accounts the expense and the cost of goods sold therefore uh we want to put the change in the payable into the cash flows from operations it's going to be down here in the changes in current assets and current liabilities so we did the current assets now we're going to do the current liabilities this is the only current liability that we will be doing and uh note that it's going to be of course opposite from the assets so when we think about it you might want to just again have the cheat sheet rule these are all the assets that are doing this an increase is going to uh, bring down the cash flow a decrease is going to bring it up so that means that the um, accounts payable is of course the opposite so that means that an increase is going to increase and a decrease is going to decrease and again you, you really want to have kind of a cheat sheet a crutch on on a test or something because it, you could get totally backwards on <laughs> when you start thinking about these but it is good practice as well to think about this because if you can understand this then you're really kind of understanding the accrual process so the accounts payable why would that be why would it be that um if if the accounts payable is going up then we're going to increase the net income well the two journal entries that happen to accounts payable when we think about accounts payable we're going to you know uh we bought something on account which means we debit expense and credit accounts payable making accounts payable go up and the other thing that happens is we pay it off we pay off the accounts payable by paying cash crediting cash and debiting accounts payable so if accounts payable went up then we can say that on on a whole on net then we purchased more things on account than we paid off on account meaning we debited the expense and we credit accounts payable more often than than the other side so as a whole we can think of it the change as a whole is that we basically debited an expense or something and then we credited accounts payable so we expensed something that we didn't pay for in in that sense and therefore we're recording an expense that needs to be backed out so we have an expense that brought down this number